Welcome to GC Unboxing. This week we have an absolutely brand new product to show you. It is the Wahoo Element Bolt GPS bike computer. And there is so much going on in here, I'm going to have to be speedy. So, it's a good job that this is the most aerodynamic head unit on the market. See what I did there? No? Okay. <clears throat> Moving swiftly on. This being a GC Unboxing, of course, we will be giving away this very unit to one lucky winner. But not only that, we're also going to have three more winners as well, each receiving one of these bad boy element bolts. That's right. I'll tell you how you can enter at the end of the video. But for now, why don't we spend a moment just savouring this really rather lovely box? All right, that's enough. Let's actually see the element bolt, shall we? There it is in all its glory. Look at that. To really tell the story though, we need to attach it to its mount because that completes the aero picture. You see, Wahoo realized that in the age of aero that we cyclists find ourselves in now, where you could spend literally thousands on saving a watt or two, that actually having a generic box attached in front of your handlebars perhaps isn't the smartest move. So they recruited the services of aerodynamics expert Dimitris Katsanis, who is the brains behind much of the GB team's track success. And with his design, they say they have saved one and a half watts at just 21 miles an hour. Now, bearing in mind that most aero testing is done at 25 or even 30 miles per hour, that is a pretty significant saving. And then, leaving aside aero for a moment, just the aesthetics of having a mount that completely integrates into your head unit is quite a nice touch. And should you wish, if you are riding, I don't know, Paris Bay or something, you could literally make the mount and the head unit one by bolting the mount to the uh, bolt, and then you won't be able to take it off. Look, just in there. Okay, one feature down, plenty more to go. Let's switch it on, shall we? And as it warms itself up, I'm gonna introduce you to this my phone. And the reason I'm doing that is because the Bolt and my phone are intrinsically linked because this has a companion app that utilizes the power of your smartphone to open up a whole new layer of functions. And should you wish, also give you alerts on this as to what is going on on your phone in the back pocket. Hmm. You can turn those off if you like. Should you wish, you can actually set up eight pages of data to scroll through on the Element Bolt, each one displaying up to nine fields of information. Now, rather than spending hours clicking buttons and scrolling through on your device, you can use that companion app, which makes actually scrolling through the 170 plus options really rather more straightforward. Just remember though, that when you do ride your bike, you should spend at least some of the time looking at the road rather than one of the 72 different data fields that you could potentially have selected. Another clever bit though, are these two buttons on the side of the device, because they act as a zoom, meaning that you can zoom in and zoom out on your data fields, which is particularly good for those of us that like doing really hard, high intensity intervals based on power, because as you start to go cross-eyed through oxygen depth, you can still focus on your power target. There we go. There are also little LED lights that come into play on the top to help with that as well. You can set them up to relate to your power zones or your heart rate zones or your speed in relation to your average speed for that ride. And in use, it feels a little bit like a rev counter. So as you press on the pedals really hard, the lights go red, which corresponds to you pretty much going into the red yourself. And then the lights will also come into function when you are using navigation. This is another big feature of this Wahoo Element Bolt. Just let me scroll through to the map page. There we go. The Wahoo Element and this, the Wahoo Element Bolt, both use open source mapping, meaning that this device comes with preloaded global maps. And then as well as that, it will also give you turn-by-turn -turn instructions if you upload a route to it from something like Ride with GPS or Komoot. And then it will also sync with Strava as well. All you've got to do is authorize those apps using your companion app here. Then they will sync automatically with this, your phone, and then upload onto your device when you connect to Wi-Fi. Undoubtedly though, one of the ace cards of this pairing is the ability to take you anywhere. 
So on your phone, if you click for search for location, it gives you the ability to either drop a pin or enter an address or indeed search for something like coffee or beer. And then when you click on it, it will automatically upload a route to this and give you turn by turn instructions until you get there. Now, you may, as I was just scrolling through, have just caught sight of the live track function there. And that gives you the ability to share your location and route with anyone you choose. But then you can also, using the mapping page on the device, actually see where other Wahoo users are at any point in time. So if your mates have Wahoo devices as well, and if you happen to drop them, then you can see where they are as you wait for them in the coffee shop. Or indeed, if you get dropped, you can see where which coffee shop they've waited in. I mentioned earlier that you can sync your device with Strava for Strava routes, but you can also get live segments as well. So if you star a segment in Strava, it will then automatically sync it with your device and then alert you as you are approaching said segment. And then indeed, it will also keep you updated of your progress in relation to either the KOM or your PB as you ride it. Woo, I told you we were gonna to need to work fast here. Right, when you press stop on your device, having finished your ride, it automatically uploads all your data to the companion app on your phone. And from there on to Strava or Training Peaks or something like that, if you have already authorized them. And then what else can we tell you about? Well, it is waterproof to IPX7 standards, which means you can submerse it in up to five feet of water, which should guard against probably the worst puddle you would ever expect to encounter on a ride. And then, the battery life, perhaps one of the most important parts of all. Despite weighing just 60 grams, the battery apparently lasts 15 hours. Finally, if you also have a Wahoo trainer, then you can control it using this Wahoo Element Bolt head unit. Okay, clearly that is not all the features of this GPS computer. I mean, I haven't even gone through the box and talked about this and this and well, everything else in there, but if you do need more information, then there is always the Wahoo website if you want to find out a little bit more. But right now, I'm going to bet and say that what you really want to know is how to enter the competition. All right, here it is. In the description below this video, there is a link. Click on that link and you very simply will be taken to the competition app, where unfortunately you will have to answer a fiendishly difficult question. So I hope that you have been paying attention, despite the fact that there has been a lot of information to tell you here. Then the other thing you need to do is before going there, make sure you have subscribed to GCN. To do that, just click on the globe and then more content. Well, why not? If you want to see a debate about indoor versus outdoor training and their relative merits, click just down there. Or for the latest GCN show, click just down.